Okay, so as I faced quite a lot of uh, BIOS corruption issues now, uh, this time on LN2 with the EVGA X570 Dark, or oh, well, not, not like uh, BIOS corrupt issues, but uh, for some reason on this motherboard model, it seems that uh, the uh, getting uh, BIOS settings like completely erased can be sometimes be uh, pretty difficult. So even if you remove the battery, even if you hold the uh, either of the uh, CMOS clear buttons for a very long time, it might still have some issues uh, posting like even stock settings. So now I moved the uh, BIOS switch to the middle position and I will show you how to recover the first BIOS uh, position uh, uh, on the switch. So uh, the uh, motherboard is getting power, like passive power from the power supply. So now or with this motherboard I recommend when you do any kind of like CMOS clear, keep the uh, uh, passive power coming uh, from the power supply. So keep the uh, AC switch on. And here we will uh, just go to the uh, clear CMOS button at the rear I.O. The light is gone. I will hold the button for a few seconds. And I will show you how to uh, recover the BIOS if you face some kind of like BIOS issues and you need to uh, recover uh, one of the bosses somehow. So now I will just let it go and now I'll just turn on and I will just wait for the post process to complete and let's look at the things inside the boss and I will show you. So uh, okay so 98 so let's go uh, to the main uh, BIOS screen, so here in the uh, uh, extras section, whatever. So now, if we want to uh, recover the first BIOS switch position, we will, uh, well, we can first insert the uh, USB stick in the rear I.O. Uh, USB ports. Make sure the USB stick is formatted to FAT32 and that the BIOS file is inside the USB stick, obviously. So we will just install the USB stick like this. And we will uh, move the uh, BIOS switch over here to the first position once again, which we want to recover. So make sure now the light is uh, on the middle position over here. And look, when we uh, move the switch, it moves to the uh, first position. So now when we go to the uh, extras over here, so with the left arrow key on the keyboard, the extras is now highlighted, then uh, down arrow key, we go to BIOS update and we select the BIOS file we wish to flash. I will select this better BIOS, so 11.0.25.T.O.O.Bin and it asks uh, for us to confirm the BIOS flash, so we will just do yes. And now it will flash the BIOS on the first uh, BIOS switch position, so uh, which we selected. You can obviously do this even inside the operating system with some of the uh, like uh, common uh, common prompt boss flashing uh, utilities but uh, on AMD platform it's pretty easy to do this uh, uh, this way around uh, it doesn't work like this now on the newest Intel like Intel Alder Lake Z690 but with the X570 it works just fine so now it will finish okay and let's confirm the uh, BIOS inside the uh, BIOS. So the previous one we, which we uh, just used was uh, the earliest like uh, retail, so 1.01. .01. And this BIOS now that we uh, flashed is a better BIOS from last October. It should be uh, dated 25th of October 2021. And it will revert to as profile or BIOS version 0.00 inside the BIOS. Okay, so you can see BIOS version 0.00 or 00 and F1 key October 25th 2021. So uh, that's how you recover corrupted BIOS chip or BIOS overall on the EVGA X570 Dark and this will work this very same method will work on pretty much any AMD uh, X570 or AM4 motherboard that has a dual or triple BIOS present on the motherboard. So hopefully this video helped you out. 
give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.